The brand new SwitchBot Lock Pro is here and you're gonna to wanna to see this. This lock has been redesigned and it is a very easy lock to install. It's easy to use and it adds a lot of security to your home. And it's not that expensive. SwitchBot reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked if I wanted to do a beta test on their final stage of their new lock. And of course I said, yes, that would be cool. So I have had this lock installed for some time. I've used it for quite a while and I can tell you that it works great. It's very seamless, it's easy to use, and I think you're gonna love it. I did receive this product from SwitchBot at no cost, but in no way, shape, or form have they said what I can and can't post or say. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion on this lock. And I'm also going to break down the unboxing and installation of the uh, lock so you can see how easy it is. And I'm going to put links in the description to the lock so you can go check it out. I think they're still in a pre-order stage, but you definitely want to go check it out and grab you one before they're gone. Because I'm sure they're probably going to sell out pretty quick, at least the first batch. But maybe not. Maybe they'll have enough stock and everyone can get one. <laughs> yeah, so this lock is actually pretty nice. I was a little skeptical at first. It is a little bulky on the door, but its functionality is fantastic. And you don't have to replace the entire lock. And that's what I really liked about it. So the outside key cylinder, you still use a key. Um, the inside is what you're going to be replacing. And it's got a like device that connects into the actual lock itself. So you don't have to completely remove everything, just the inside of the lock. And they give explicit instructions on how to do that. It's very easy. One thing I really like about the lock is when you pair it with a SwitchBot Hub 2, their second version, you're able to control this via internet so you can lock and unlock the door remotely. And that's a huge added benefit. It's nice to know that if you forget your key or something happens and you need to get in the house, you can always unlock it from your app. And that's a huge benefit in my opinion. Of course, isn't that what all these uh, smart home internet connected devices are supposed to be is convenient for you to use outside of the home or on an app on your phone or from the computer. So they just make it easy. And if you have other SwitchBot products, like I have their vacuum, which has been working great. And I have some um, temperature and humidity sensors. And it, the app is very easy to, to use. I really like their app design. Okay, today I'm going to be installing the brand new SwitchBot Lock Pro. So as you can see, it actually looks pretty nice. You have the main device here, the lock. And then we have some other components. in there so let's get all this unboxed and we'll check it out okay so the first thing you need to do is take this and actually secure the back of the lock so I'm gonna do that real quick they want to make sure this doesn't fall off so I will do like that like that and yeah, there you have it That's kind of nice. They give you these uh, little rings here that are adjustable uh, for different spreads on the bolts, but that's kind of cool. So we're gonna mount this to the door. And they do give you new screws. That's nice. They give you this right here, so you can um, put this in the hole. It's got a particular type of 
opening there, depending on the pin that you have. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So as you can see, that has a very distinct like pattern and the pin here for the actual bolt is the same and you can stick that in there make sure you have the ability to turn the lock pretty easily thoughtful actually and that's tight okay so i was kind of wondering about this so as you can see here the hole that's here this stays on the door because this is what's used to turn the block. Pretty cool. Again, really simple design. Pretty much anybody can do it. Okay, and so here they put these screws, holes here, and there's two little screws that will go in here to secure that to the actual plate. So these tiny little screws uses a uh, hex bit, which they provide. So not anyone can just come by and unscrew it. So we're gonna slide that on there. That's a nice tight fit, which I guess is a good thing. Now let's go ahead and get these put in here. I like they give you extras of these too because with as small as they are, it would be easy to drop and lose one. Just like that. <laughs> I'll move this over here so I can actually use that light. See the home. Now the only thing I'm not really too keen about is how much this sticks out but i understand why they have to do that because they're using all the existing internal components and um, they need to be able to have the mechanism here in addition to what's in here to turn that little knob uh, so i get it it just makes it a little a little more bulky because they're saying that this has to be here that this has to know where this is at so it can know whether the door is locked or unlocked but smacking doesn't feel that strong so all right so gonna have this little mark here um, facing towards the actual door so i'm gonna get it as close as i can i mean that's kind of far away so what did they say it should be 0.7 to one and a half inches. It's not like on a super flat spot because I had this like ridge right here, but I think that's gonna be too far. I don't know, if that doesn't work, I can move it. Okay, so as you can see here, I have my back door. It says not calibrated, so we're gonna click on that. Okay, let's proceed to upgrade, firmware upgrade. That's always important. Do this first. And I'll calibrate it. Hopefully that little magnet's close enough. Okay, updated successfully, nice. All right, so let's go back and recalibrate. So close your door, rotate the thumbnail on your lock pro position where your device locks your door, then tap next. Rotate the thumbnail pro position where your device unlocks the door. Next, open your door, wait, and hold the door against the door frame with approximately, next, oh, and recognize it, wow, that's crazy, test locking, finish, nice, okay, wow, I can't believe that is, uh, able to detect it right there that's crazy so as you can see and the switchbot app the switchbot app is always really nice i think they do a good job um getting it you know 
set up to where it's easy to use and it's easy to understand and very functional. Um, so you just hit that big button and the door's locked. And hit it again. The door's unlocked. Nice. They have a keypad too that you can pair to it, which I don't have the keypad. Uh, they also have a remote, which I don't have. Might look at getting one of those. But we're gonna test this out for now. Uh, this is a, a brand new product and we're gonna kind of do a little testing for them, give them some feedback and uh, see how it goes. I'm wondering, um, so yeah, up here, devices online and you can go into the settings and what i want to know is battery info let's see if that gives me that oh firmware and battery there you go yeah battery level 100 percent. all right nice so another thing i'm wondering notifications yes i'm going to allow and i want to do let's go lift unlocked I think I just got an alert. I did. <laughs> Left unlocked because it's unlocked. Funny. Um, definitely gonna already set to give you battery notifications, which is good. I'm gonna leave all those on for right now. We'll see how that goes. Oh, that's nice. It gives you a left unlocked time. Nice. And I actually have it paired to my hub upstairs, so I should be able to have remote access. Um, I'm gonna test that here in a second. Auto lock. I want to turn that on. Enable. And auto lock time. I want to, oh, I see. It's not the time of day, it's how long it's been unlocked. Interesting. And the max you can do is 60 minutes. Basically, because we, I mean, we go in and out of this door, but not so often that, um, 60 minutes isn't more than enough time. Um, I suppose in the summer, like if we're grilling out, we're going in and out a lot, we'll have to pause that, but it gives you the opportunity to pause it right here, which is nice. So we're gonna leave that. But I know there's sometimes where people go out the store, they'll come back in and I forget to lock it. So the auto lock is something I want. You can use a switch bot tag and you can just simply use your phone. That's pretty cool. I might have to get one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm going to turn my Bluetooth off. I'm gonna turn the wireless off. So I'm currently on cellular and I'm gonna go back to the app and let's open the app up and back door. And it should be able to connect to this from my hub that's upstairs. Yeah, it says locked. Nice. Okay, so I have lock and unlock remotely. Very cool. Nice. Very cool. All right, so we're going to test this out and um, we'll see how it goes. And I'm sure I'll be posting another video with uh, some updates. So leave me some comments and let me know what you think. And uh, if you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them to the best I can. And don't forget to click that product link to go check one out for yourself. And then you're going to want to watch this video right here, which shows you how you can add some video surveillance to your home using the SwitchBot camera, the uh, 2K camera. It's awesome as well. I have one here in my uh, house and it works fantastic. So thanks for watching.